a huge robot has invaded the city. Oh dear, we need help, cried Elizabeth. So she left to tell Bertie and Bulgy. Guys, what are we going to do? she asked. I don't know, but I'm not going anywhere near it, said Bulgy. I'll get up close to it and see if it has any weaknesses, suggested a brave Bertie. Good luck, said the other two, and off he went as quickly as he could. Okay, we need a lot of help, he said. So they called for some superheroes. Lightning McQueen, Michelangelo, Spider Man, Batman, Mater, Iron Man, Holly Shiftwell and Wolverine. Thanks for helping, said Bertie. Don't worry, we'll deal with it, said Holly. I hope so, replied Elizabeth. So one by one, the heroes tried distracting the robot. Mater tried a little bit too hard once, This wasn't working, it was only making the robot even more angry. He was starting to retaliate. The heroes were starting to get a bit of a beating, so they decided to regroup. We need a new tactic, suggested McQueen. Yes, but what? asked Holly. I can go up close to him again with McQueen to look for another weakness, said Bertie. So they did. Did you see anything? asked Michelangelo. Well, there was a purple button on his front. Worth a try. So who's going to do it? asked Mater. I will, said Iron Man, so he geared up to go. He wanted a very long run up. It worked perfectly. The other cars hurried over to congratulate him. Well done, said McQueen. Oh, it was nothing really, he said. So they all cleared up the mess and soon everything was back to normal. Hi, I'm Dave and thanks for watching my story. Here's another you may have missed. Thomas and Percy were taking their mini-me's, oh, and a minion each that had hidden themselves in the trucks, to the park to try the new rattling rails ride. They pulled up by the ride and unloaded.
Thomas went to turn round so he could get a better look. I saw it move, said a scared Percy. It's only a ride, said Thomas. Look, I'll go first. Thomas got into position and then moved forward down the slope, right into the snake's mouth. The snake picked Thomas up and took him back to the start. Wow, this is fun, said Thomas. Thomas finished and Percy had a look in the snake's mouth. It's only a ride, said Percy to himself. It's only a ride and he got into position. Percy actually really enjoyed it. Next, the minions took a close look and decided to have a go. Uh oh. He got his timings wrong. Stuck in the snake's jaw. His friend helped and pulled him to safety. And not afraid, had a turn himself. Then Spider-Man, McQueen and Finn McMissile arrived. McQueen went first, followed by Finn McMissile, and then Spider-Man. Now an even bigger crowd arrived. The Avengers had assembled for a day out, led by Hawkeye. Iron Man went first, then Hulk, but the snake kept turning Hulk upside down. Next, Wolverine. Wolverine got caught by the snake. Ouch! Hulk came to help free him. Captain America now, followed by Ultron. Last to go was Hawkeye. The new ride rattled.